What if I told you that a new type of electric motor has been developed, one that doesn't have a stator yoke? Sounds impossible, right? For over a century, old and bulky electric motors sitting inside most EVs today are based on a basic design. But now, a leading company in the UK has built something radically different. They've created a new motor architecture that could change how electric motors are built and what they can do. You will be surprised to know that these new motors offer up to four times the torque and double the power density compared to the motors used in nearly every electric vehicle today. Also, it is insanely light, 50% less weight and just 20% the depth of current motors. This isn't a sci-fi idea or a high-tech experiment locked away in a lab. It's real and it works. And it's called the yokeless axial flux motor. And the most shocking part? Almost nobody is speaking about it. We'll dive deep into what makes yokeless axial flux motors so powerful, how the technology works, why it's attracting attention from companies like Mercedes-Benz, and what drawbacks still stand in the way of widespread adoption. Stick around, because what you're about to see could be the next big shift in electric machines. Before we start, do not forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Let's start with the motor design that dominates the EV industry today, the radial flux motor. This is the standard workhorse used in everything from Teslas to e-scooters. And while it's certainly reliable, it's far from optimal. These motors generate torque by having magnetic flux travel radially, perpendicular to the axis of rotation. Think of a spinning cylinder surrounded by coils. The problem? As performance demands increase, these motors get heavier, bulkier, and less space efficient. And in high-performance EVs, that's a serious bottleneck. The radial design also makes cooling more difficult. Heat tends to accumulate in the core, which limits efficiency and long-term reliability. These aren't small problems. They're fundamental design limitations. The axial flux motor turns that old idea sideways. Instead of wrapping coils around a spinning cylinder, it places rotor and stator discs face to face. The magnetic flux travels along the axis of rotation, not across it. This layout shrinks the motor's length while expanding its surface area, making it much thinner and easier to cool. Now here's where things get more interesting. Yasa, a company based in the UK, took this axial design and stripped it down even further. They removed the yoke, a structural component that traditionally connects the stator teeth. This yokeless design reduces the motor's weight, eliminates magnetic losses in the yoke, and allows for even more compact construction. The result? A motor that's not just marginally better, but radically better. Yasa's yokeless axial flux motor offers up to four times the torque density and double the power density of traditional motors. It's 50% lighter and just 20% the depth of a comparable radial flux machine. In 2021, Mercedes-Benz acquired Yasa. It wasn't just a licensing deal or partnership. They brought the company in-house. Why? Because Mercedes sees something the rest of the industry is just starting to realize. As EVs get faster, sleeker, and more performance-oriented, the limitations of traditional motors become impossible to ignore. Yasa's motors are already being used in prototypes like the Mercedes-AMG 1, where space is at a premium and power is everything. The yokeless axial flux design allows Mercedes to reduce motor size and weight while increasing cabin space and overall performance. It also opens the door for entirely new drivetrain configurations. In high-end performance EVs, where every gram counts, this is a major leap forward. Let's get into the numbers. A standard radial motor might produce around 7 kilowatts per kilogram. Yasa's axial flux motor hits 15 kilowatts per kilogram, more than double. In terms of torque density, we're looking at up to four times more output in the same volume. That means you get more acceleration with less battery draw, which could extend range and boost energy efficiency. Another advantage is cooling. The flat disc structure allows for superior heat management. 
The wider surface area means that engineers can integrate advanced cooling channels more easily, keeping the motor operating at peak efficiency for longer. The yokeless stator design also reduces electromagnetic losses, making the system even more efficient. And because the motor is thinner, it can be stacked, integrated into different parts of the vehicle, or mounted directly to wheels, opening up new possibilities in EV architecture. Now, before we get carried away, it's important to be realistic. The yokeless axial flux motor isn't perfect. Not yet, at least. First, manufacturing complexity is a major hurdle. The flat, wide design requires extremely precise tolerances. Coil winding is more difficult, and alignment of the rotor stator system is critical. These motors are harder to mass produce than their radial counterparts. Second, there's flux leakage. Without a yoke, managing the magnetic field requires advanced materials and simulation tools. If done wrong, it can lead to performance loss or overheating. Third, cost is still a limiting factor. These motors are more expensive to build, especially at small volumes. That's why they're currently found in high-end or experimental vehicles, not budget EVs. Lastly, there's the issue of compatibility. Most EV platforms today are built around radial motor designs. Switching to axial flux means rethinking the entire drivetrain layout. That's not an easy ask for automakers trying to scale production fast. So the big question is, will this yokeless motor ever make it into mainstream EVs? The answer is, eventually, yes. Right now, we're in the early adopter phase. Luxury brands and performance platforms are the first to take the leap because they can absorb the cost and they need the performance. But as production scales and as new EV platforms are developed from the ground up, we'll likely see this tech trickle down. Startups in aerospace and e-mobility are already looking at axial flux as the future of propulsion for drones, electric aircraft, and ultra-efficient vehicles. And when companies like Mercedes start integrating these motors into flagship EVs, the rest of the industry tends to follow. We're standing at the edge of a quiet revolution. The yokeless axial flux motor might not be a household name yet, but it represents a fundamental shift in how we think about electric powertrains. It's not just an upgrade, it's a reinvention, something radically more efficient, more compact, and more powerful. A motor that throws out century-old assumptions and replaces them with new possibilities. It's thinner, it's smarter, and it's already being built. So, next time you hear someone talk about the limits of EVs, their weight, their range, their performance, remember this motor, because the limitations aren't always in the battery. Sometimes they're in the shape of the motor itself. The electric motor of the future may not just be lighter and faster, it may be smarter, softer, and built from materials engineered at the nanoscale. If you're excited about future tech that challenges 100-year-old norms, this is just the beginning. If this tech excited you as much as it excites us, don't forget to hit like, subscribe for more deep dives into next-gen energy and transport, and drop a comment below. Do you think we'll see this in your next EV? Thanks for watching. Stay curious and stay charged.